gonna fucking start it right there. Bourbon? <laughs> yup. Well, this one warned you right now, though. You be careful about your ass. It's falling off. Bad man. Oh, this is too high. Cool. Okay, so we just, in the last video, we just got the uh, thing for finding all the uh, areas. So now, we just need to do... <sighs> Natural selection dynamics. Well, no, we need to do Oh, we need to do those. Yeah, mm -hmm. so let's, let's just, just do it. this big feet one, it's fine. We'll go to Candlelight Krog. I think this is the one for killing that purple thing. That already killed? Yep. The thing is, is we also still need to find those uh, endangered species or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> this ain't a place for no healing. Now, the question is, if we activate oh, this God. one, show us that. Your audio is real fucked up. Mine? It's probably because it's, uh... Oh, because I'm in 360, it. and it's game chat, yeah. Alright. Should be okay now. Find the trail. God damn it, I hate that this DLC keeps with the find the trail thing. I get it, we're hunting, I get it. But can we not? <laughs> can we not do that? It'd be better if, like, the trails were more, like, pronounced. Or if it made sense. Yeah, I remember, once we reach level 49 or 50, I'm gonna, like, max us out on good shit. What's up? Once we reach level 49 or 50, I'm going to like absolutely max this out on good shit with the uh, gold keys I have left. Hey, hello. Yeah, we need to kill so many of these things with Kale this version. Though. Yeah, I know. What else is the single Kale this version? Really Jesus, that's insane. They track the beast. but I obviously had points of something that increased my like overall ammo count for weapons and that I am missing dearly Jesus look at look at this look at that like oh my god track beast H how like fucking excuse me You might want to go a different way, because I, I have no idea if this is the right way or not. I don't know. I'm trying to miss. Uh, someone's attacking you, Hatchet. Uh, uh. Hey, there's a Talus. Nice. It is, this guy. Uh-huh. Ooh, he's lucky. Kill okay. him. Okay, that hurts a lot. Looks like you do not need to shoot that rocket at you. I apologize for that. I need that in my back, bitch. We actually have one more quest in this area, though. You bastard. There you go. There's another Talus. Oh, yeah. We're at four and eight of those. I did grab the Pharaohs, by the way. 
This is the one that we need the pheromones to be able to kill them. We probably need to be together in order to fight them. Yes. 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 Because otherwise we have to go all the way back to him. Yes. And then come back here. This one was 2296, that's pretty good. Oh, there's another tailless one. Very good, yes, very good. Five, Five out of eight. eight. Nice, nice, nice. These guys are rude, because they know that I need point blank kills, and yet they have shields. Makes it much harder for me to get point blank kills. You're on I went the wrong way. Yeah. Well. It's about that time. No. I'm gonna wait for you because I was, don't want to do this multiple times. I'm there. God, I'm maybe I'm there. I'm getting stuck on an invi- Is this an invisible wall here? Okay. Why does this DLC have so many of those? I know. New Orleans is known for, like, not doing that at all. Mm. And then we have to smash. Yes, yeah, smash. We have a minute to kill this thing. Okay, turrets, OP. Wow, that's a good assault rifle, actually. It is. I'm gonna take that. If you don't use it, give it back. Um, I just, I just probably won't use it, so if you want it, drop it right here. Well, I'm trying to get a better SMG right now. I think I already have all my assault rifle challenges finished. Shit. Bless <laughs> you. Fuck. Bless you, Archie. Oh, I'm dead. You died? Oh, I, I, no, like in real life. Oh, nice. That, uh, that's a better place to be dead. That sneeze was, uh... Something else. DLC does. I'm 
back here. I need a point blank kill, you fucker. Come back here. That probably was not point blank. Fuck. Hey, I wanna know, when it says point blank, I want it to give me an actual distance. I don't think it has anything to do with distance, if I'm being honest. God damn it. I'm like a hundred percent sure it's point blank if you blow them up, like you spread their body parts everywhere. This one, this, this these guys won't do that though. Which means we need to go to a lower level area, probably. No. You know, it says fires as fast as you pull the trigger. And it is a Jacob's weapon. <laughs> Does not do that. Might not be using this. Unfortunate. <laughs> no, it looks like it's working. Yeah, I'm pulling the trigger about four times as fast as it's actually shooting. You know what's funny? I am actually going to use this shock RPG, though. God, it does no damage. Never mind, I'm not using it. God, I need to get shock kills and RPG kills, so I was like, oh, I don't want shock RPG already. But, little did I know, I was only playing myself. Alright, egg on your face. Kill Arizona. There we go. This is the thing that was laying those eggs, right? No clue. I mean, I had to go collect. I'm pretty sure it is. Possibly so, Dr. Witt. Uh, possibly so, Dr. Witt. Yes, yes. <laughs> Does somebody need a ride? Maybe. I thought it was closer than this. There's also apparently an area over here I have not been to yet. Oh, you know what? It's... I know how to get way. up there. No, it's this way. Need a ride? Yes. I do know how to get up there, though. Kind of. Well, it's, it's all the way around. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. As it should be. As it should be. That's correct, Hatchet. This DLC is mostly an advanced form of a walking simulator where they cut out the story and you just have the walking. Which is everyone's favorite part of the walking simulator. Oh, well, uh, okay. What? I, I got stuck on something when I was walking in a straight line down the path. Oh, yes. Go, this go. DLC seems like it's polished. I want to know that if we activate that quest for hunting rare shit, if it'll actually tell us where any of them are. Um, I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure I activated it and tried. And it showed nothing. Nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. 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 Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, you can't go that way because there's an invisible wall. Good. An invisible ball and a stick of flames. Flash stick. Shit. You do not appear to be up there. 
Gotta be right here, right? Ah! Aha! Aha! Yes, this is the area that I was thinking of. You can actually get to this from the other side over there. There she is. There she is. Oh, she immediately took out that thing's shield. She is actually extremely tanky. This is true. Shoot her butthole. It's her weak spot. Jesus, what did you do? I wanted to destroy one of their buttholes. So now let's put on. Um, see, now what's this actually say? All it marks is the quest giver. Nice. For I like my monsters rare. No, nice. Because we've killed zero out of six of the two legged drifters. Chim. Okay, so there's Borax chim, over here. Chim, Should we just try and keep spawn killing them until we get more pink ones in? Because we need six more pink Borax. Uh, I can just go do that while you head towards the next mission. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So I don't know how the best way to do this is. It seems like just maybe farming them where we find them is the best way. Oh, it definitely is. Just leaving and coming back to their spawn locations is the best way to do it. The drifters are kind of hard because they just kind of spawn. I think this is the best. I think this is the only area that has drifters, though. Uh, so. Maybe. I feel like we just drive around. Yeah, but then we have to leave the area and come back when we run out of drifters. Which is unfortunate. Unfortunate. There are the, these things here, too. Yeah, those, but those spawn in the uh, drive around area as well, and we have to kill slagged ones of those. Yeah, we have to kill a lot of rare shit. But we've gotten most of the slagged ones, I think. I think we're halfway done. We need two. Yes. Of, yeah, two more. We have zero to six drifters. Three hey, here's more of the pink tail of We need six of these pink borons. Or borox. And we just killed one of them. Yep. Add a girl. Alright. While well, that group is being taken care of back there by my turrets, I'll take care of this group up here. Good luck. Have fun. Yeah, don't get lost. Can you stop spelling the Borklings? <laughs> no. No, I can't. Bitch. I want the adults. It's more fun to shit on them. Okay, Wetland Drifter, I need you to be two legged. Okay. Oh, drifters! Tossing the little lady. If you shoot me, I'll come back and shoot you. Think about that. Okay. I think I have exhausted this area with four hours. No, there's no possible way I got away. Never happened. Never happened before in the history of anything. What is this? 
Here's an area we haven't been to before. Well, I have all the achievements for the area. That's Silas Grove. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, I stopped away. Yeah. There must be a new entrance. I haven't taken that entrance. I think that's the entrance I took. Oh, bulletproof bully mug. I think I've killed all the Borogs in this area. Oh, I've been there. Have fun with those guys. I'm pretty sure I actually killed the bully mom that I was talking about once. Well, I'd already killed that Bigfoot once, too. And we had to do that quest, and I was not happy about it. Colossal cheers, man. Colossal cheers? We're killing that bulletproof bullet on? I appreciate that. Whoa. Okay, so where the f fuck? Oh, what are you doing on Warframe? Yeah, how's that going? We were just talking about we Warframe. We were just talking about Warframe. We were thinking about, uh, starting to back up. That new DLC looks insanely hard. Oh, uh, yeah. Achievements. But we've done pretty hard things on Warframe anyway. For the achievements. Yeah. The more I learn about more Warframe, the more I realize that we didn't do things even close to as optimally. No. And our builds are kind of shite. Really? Yeah. I kind of thought that, but, um, You've done all the content on the new DLC. Damn. That is quite impressive, actually. That's always fun. Yeah, so this is, I think that's the only achievement. It doesn't have much content to it, it's just grind. Yeah, that's what we're saying, though. Like, the achievements are, like, hella grindy. Hella, hella grindy. Oh, yeah, it's Planes of Idolands too with new skins. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. But people still say they like it. I honestly didn't mind Planes of Eidolon. To be able to I really like Planes of Eidolon. I still want to finish Planes of Eidolon. The only thing I didn't like is like, there was like that achievement for killing like 100 animals. And the, that shit was hard to find. They didn't spawn very much. You could farm it by like consistently re-entering the area, but that was annoying. Oh, yeah, because when it first came out, it was uber laggy. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, though, that if you go back to that last area, 
the bar actually back in. Yeah. It's better than playing vinyl ones, but the content is so little. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they're doing these type. Like, I get it. They're actually, I don't get it. It's not even really MMO because you don't really see that many people in playing the vinyl. Can you even see people that aren't in your quest, like in your group? Yeah, we did that all the time, actually. Not not all the time, but often enough. But it's like. It's, I don't know, I don't feel like it's as good as, like, their regular stuff. Like, I wish that they would do something different besides these open world things. I just want them to go back to the old key system. Oh, yeah, I did love the keys much more than the relics. But I like the reward system for relics more. So. I do, too. I, I think that they should go back to the old key system, but, like, have everybody use the keys. Well, actually, to be honest, I like that everybody just kind of gets what they get. See, I feel like you should go back to the Borox over here. They uh, won't spawn anymore. I was planning on going into that Scylla's Grove place, actually, and start trying to look for um, Talus. I feel like you go to Crags for that. Crags? Are you sure? There's a lot in Scylla's Grotto. Okay. Go, let's go to Scylla's Grotto. The fast travel station is above. Oh, I was just going to go to this little thing right here. The one that I found just a minute ago. What's it? I was just gonna go through this entrance right over here. Oh, okay, you can do that. Cause I, I'm not finding shies and like the drifters aren't spawning anymore either. Yeah. We'll just have to clean out the areas and then rotate back. Yeah, uh, they should ditch this old as fuck game engine and switch to Unreal or Cry Engine so they can put NPC all over the map without crashing your hardcore errors. Yeah. I agree, but the problem with switching engines on games is more or less a lot of the people that are making content for games have to go to like rewriting the code on a new engine or mm -hmm. making sure there's not problems on the new engine, which is fine and dandy, like for me, I don't care, but a lot of players are like, where's the content? Why is there no content? Blah, 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 blah. And then you have to explain to them, instead of making new content, we're rewriting the we're entire rewriting our, game. Like, our game to work on this new, and, like, the casual community gets, so, like, really mad at things like that. Yeah, and, like, Warframe would be terrible to do that for. I'm not gonna lie, because they've just been pushing well, content for... Well, the problem is it's a, it's a free-to-play. They're, they're kind of forced to push content to keep making money. You know what I mean? Like, uh, they have yeah. to continually get stuff that people want to buy platform. The developers are swimming on money. Believe me, they can do so much and so fast, but they're lazy as fucking greedy. Th this is true. They are very fucking rich. Like, um, what is it? D3, I think is what, Is that what they're called? Yeah. D3? Yeah, I think so. Um, they've made, like, two games, and Warframe's, like, the only one that is really, like, big at all. And, yeah, they, they've made a fuckload of money from it. I agree with you. But you gotta also remember they're not the biggest studio... Yeah, so they don't actually have that many coders. They could outsource, but when companies start outsourcing, that's when, like, shit gets fucky with their, uh... with their image of the game. Last year they made $147 million. This year they made $200 million. Or, just, I'm sorry. Yeah, $200 million. Witcher 3 costs only $85 million to develop, and that include, includes all promotions and stuff. The, the, that's CD Projekt Red. CD Projekt Red is... Yes, they're kind of like a AAA developer because their games are AAA, but you gotta understand, CD Projekt Red only makes, like, one game every, like, what, like, four years or something like that? Like, they only make, like, a couple games, and they, their games are insanely, like, good. A lot of time put into them. Yeah, so I feel like it's hard to compare CD Projekt Red. Like, I'm, I want to make it clear, I'm not disagreeing with you, and I do think that that's what they should do if they want to, like, seriously improve their game for the mm -hmm. long haul. But I, well, the thing is, is, I know why they're not doing it. It's because I feel like the casual community would be mad that they're spending their time doing something. Doing something that isn't pushing content, which is what they've been doing. Like, have you ever played a, like, have you ever played a game where, like, well, I guess Warframe's the same way, like, where they sell skins? Because, like, 
there'll be a game that sells skins, and people will be like, stop making skins, fix all the bugs, polish the game. But then when they do that, they're always like, where's the skins? Where's the, skins? Where's the content? Blah, blah, blah. So it's like a, the developers just kind of lose. So does DE, they make only one game. That is true, but like once Witcher comes out and once like Witcher and like what two DLCs, then they move on to the next game. I don't that know, Planes of right. Island update right. is probably the size of a small game, though. Just that update is probably the size of a small game. Well, Blood and Wine was the one for uh, Witcher Three, sure it was. Yeah, you are right. They do only make one game. Yeah. Like the. But Still, even then, I don't think that they're... Like, what they need to do is hire a small team in the studio to work on, like, mo like, moving the coding to a new engine, the whole game, and then the rest of the team continue working on it. Yeah, but the thing is that they can't continue to work on the, co the current game while they're moving. Because that would change the code. True. 2018 Warframe made the most money in its history while providing the least content ever. Yeah, Warframe is at its peak right now. That's not a lie. That's the truth. Yeah, the least content. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's true. I mean, I'm pretty satisfied, though, with where Warframe is, to be honest, so... Like, DE right now is really focusing on the new game, like, the new Warframe player experience, and I think that's what makes a lot of the hardcore fans kind of mad. Yeah. That's fair to Because Planes of Eidolon was designed to be, like, a... A fairly early thing that you can do in Warframe. I mean, it's designed like that. It's not like you actually can, especially if you're trying to do like idle on the thing and things like that. Black Desert made insane graphical overhauls while making and delivering new content. DE has no valid excuse to not improve this game. But isn't Black Desert PC only? Like, oh think, yeah, because the coding for console would be different too. They'd have to. Well, yeah, if you're overhauling all the consoles too, that yeah. I think would suck. But I think Black Desert has a beta on console, so I don't know. But again, it'd be way easier to port the beta after you had overhauled it to a new engine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if it's already pre-released, then it becomes more difficult. Yeah, it's PC, but it's also coming to console. Yeah, I could have sworn I saw um, that you can sign up for the beta for that game right now. Dude, I did not see any of these scalings. I just scalings. fought a bunch of them. I feel like we go to the crag. Get any? Yeah, go ahead and go back. Oh, well, wait until after I kill these ones. Again, I don't know. I don't know why they're not doing it. Then. I mean, you're making solid points. Why do you think it's the least content? I figured it would be like their most content in 2018 because because of the huge updates and the new type of uh Well, it's just mostly that, that like Planes of Island and Fortuna don't actually have that much content in them for being like the giant. Well, yeah, no, it, it is not a whole lot of content, but it is like they had to program the entire tile set, which is a shitload of work. Get that way with in the nose though, so a lot of MMOs are like that. Which one's pay to win? Black Desert, apparently. Oh, probably. Warframe is really not pay to win, but it's very grindy, I will say that. Yeah, that, that is one thing I get that like, annoys me about Warframe. Warframe's super grindy, but pretty much every free to play is made around the fact that they're grindy. That's how they make money. Mm -hmm. So they want people to pay to not grind. So. Yeah. I still like Warframe's pay like system because you can trade and basically get whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and leave. I killed everything I'm this area. On it. Fast travel stations like up here. Oh yeah. Oh, so I looked up more about Viva Pinata and 
We can actually evolve some other pinatas. Evolve? Yeah, so like if you feed a pretzel a bone, it turns into a hyena. Really? Yeah, and so it's the same thing. You can get certain pinatas to do that. Wait, did I miss something in the chat? I don't think so. Warframe's grind is like, I still enjoyed Warframe's grind. See, so soon Warframe should be getting Railjack, but I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, Railjack actually looks really good from what I've seen. So What's that? that? Railjack? Yeah. Um, it's kind of, it's what they showed at, um, I think it was Tenocon. It's like this expansion. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm actually horrible at explaining pretty much everything in Warframe. Yeah, we. <laughs> I think another thing that's really holding that. Warframe back from growing is that they have like a non existent multiplayer scene. In the game. That, yeah, if they uh, made their multiplayer more accessible, that would be. Because the thing is, the multiplayer is still grindy. Because you have to get those multiplayer loadouts with the mods and everything, and like, I get it, their mod system is kind of like their combat identity, but like. I don't feel like that's what it should be in multiplayer. I think they need to like have just default one loadouts. The rewards and the stacks, you don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's I feel I feel like you're so invested in Warframe that you're worried about its future, and I think that's good. Yes, yeah, I think that's, that's good. really good that you're you're questioning where Warframe is going. It means you're worried about the game because you enjoy it. Yeah, but I honestly I think it's gonna be okay. Like. I don't know about Railjack. How, how did you feel about um? What was that thing that just came out or just came out before uh, Fortuna? The uh, like horde mode, basically, where you could you had to fight. God, what I can't remember what it's called. Help me out here. Yeah, I'm worried because it's losing identity while chasing trending things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like to call that the Fortnite effect. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, but Warframe, I think Warframe's doing something right. Like like you said, it's the highest player base it's ever been, and that's incredibly rare for a game that's been out for like six years to actually be growing in player base. But it is. So they're doing something right that's attracting new people. And I think the problem is, is that right now Warframe is focusing on the new player experience. Which is good, but that's also kind oh, of Oh, Horde Mode was amazing until five days later they make it so pointless to go there. Yeah, I can't remember what it was called, but people were raving about how good it was, and then it kind of just disappeared. So, like, I, don't th I think they, like, they're not doing the horrible things. There's some things that they're coming out with are still really good. Maybe they'll fix... Maybe they'll go back and fix Horde Mode, then. I can see them I can't remember that. what it's called. It's not called Horde Mode, it's like... Some, I don't know, it's the Cephalon thing. I I oh, see. that I know what you're talking about now. Okay. So I'm on the Warframe Reddit, so I like read about the shit all the time. Horde mode was legit, super enjoyable and rewarding. Then they made it so you can't use your ultimates nonstop and put timers on your abilities, and then nerfing the focus gains to a crawl. I now like the game mode where you that. go to level up gear and that's it. But is it better leveling up than Hydron? Because it's if it's not better than leveling up at Hydron, then it's kind of pointless. I miss whatever that one was. Draco? Draco. Oh yeah, my god, Dra I, I could Draco farm Draco. Back to where it was. I wish Draco was still in the game. That, that made me really sad that yeah. that got taken out. I get why they did it, because they didn't want people to just farm Mass MR. Farm. Yeah. But like, oh, it was it's so It's better than fun. Hydron? Okay. Well, see, if it's better than Hydron, then I, see, I feel like that even... Even if it's not giving you good rewards, it's still better. Because if you've done Hydron for like eight hours straight, that shit gets boring as fuck. Mm -hmm. I got one tail of Scalion. I'm working on, working on it right now. But I don't see any over here. Oh, there's one. Yeah, 
Yeah, if it's better than Hydron, then that's a step in the right fucking direction. Anyway. Yeah, and I like that whole cooldown thing, because usually when you want to go farm something, you just Grab slap on a Trinity and a Banshee and yep. just spam. They nerfed Banshee, though. Did they really? Yeah, they nerfed Banshees all doing that. That surprised me. I know they did that. They they nerfed most of the farming ones. They nerfed um, Ember a while back, but I think I think you felt that when we went back. Uh, Ember was kind of shit. Ember is actually considered one of the worst Warframes right now. Yeah, they nerfed the hell out of Ember. She's still nice for uh, early game missions, just running it, people through it. But uh, yeah, she's she. I'm really Yikes. sad they no they nerfed Banshee. That was really sad. No, yeah, nobody uses Banshee anymore. Yeah, it's useless as fuck. Warframe currently. So what what's the farming Warframe right now? Yeah, what's the loadout that you want? What, what are we Nova, running like? Is it still like a Sova? Running like a Speed Nova. God, I want, this is making me want to go back Mesa to Mesa and Necros? Uh, you know what? Mesa, I, that's I where they fucking buffed her I was going to say, prime. I remember that Mesa was kicking Ooh. ass. Like, I was using Mesa last time, and I was like, damn, did she get buffed again? Because, like, Mesa <laughs> used to be super good when she first came out, and then, like, she got nerfed, and then she was crap. Mesa and Necros. Necros, I remember well, Necros. Necros, why is Necros so good? Because he was the not Link. good when we were playing. The Link mod, I bet you money, I bet you anything, it's the Link mod. Necros? Mm-hmm. The one where uh, any damage he takes just goes, like, disperses amongst his uh, specters. And then you just build, like, a maximum uh, duration. What, what's that other, build? what's that other, oh. like... Dead, dead Warframe that you get from the quest. Oh, uh, I can never remember what it's called. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The, like, <sighs> creepy one. Yeah. Shit, I get them. Necros only for his Desecrate. Yeah, but is oh, Pilfering Death Swarm Death. Hydros? Is that his name? Hydros? God, I haven't played Warframe in forever. Pilfering Swarm is Hydros, yeah. Yeah, so Pilfer is Pilfering Swarm better than Necros? Because I always felt like I got way more shit from Pilfering Swarm. And I got from Necros. It probably is, but he has less utility, I bet, yeah. I feel like he does more damage, though. I just feel like it's the idea. I don't know. I, I, I really like maximum duration on a builds on Necros. Well, we used to run, like, a Necros Hydro, Hydros um, for our farming mission. Mm -hmm. So, that's what we used to do. Hydro does horse shit now. Nobody uses him to farm. Wow, they have nerfed like every Warframe I used to play. And that sucks. Yeah, but it's making me want to play that game again just because it sounds like it's like new as shit. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I have more Warframes. Like, I have Necros. It's not a big deal. I can yeah. use him to farm. Mostly. Mostly. Ever. And I have a Mesa, too, so it's not a big deal there. I really want to go get Mesa Prime. We can leave now. I've gone I'm all way the way behind the Primes. I'm not worried about it. I am too, to be fair. Hydroid is horse shit. That feels yeah. bad. Man. Yeah, it does feel bad. Hydroid, that is it. Hydroid, see, I could have I could not remember his name. Feels fucking horrible, dude. I want to get a Limbo Prime just to troll the fuck out of people. I actually still like Limbo, though, even though people hate him. I still need to get Limbo. We still need to do those missions. Okay, so I don't know what to do here. I, Like, do we just travel... Just go back to the uh, main area, yeah. yeah. And then look for the two-legged drifters again. I guess. And the borox. Well, here we can do pretty much all of. Okay, the you areas. like limbo a lot, yeah. Cause okay, th th basically limbo, I feel like is on two sides of the spectrum. You either like him a lot, or you never want to see him in your games ever. ever. Yeah. And that's pretty much how it goes. There's there's very little in between. He is so easy to play ultra hardcore missions with. Well, he's always been that guy. He's always been the guy that makes like very hard missions like possible because you can literally put like the defense thing inside of his limbo, which makes it like not possible to hurt anymore. But people hate that because of the way that like his uh, like um what is it called um his plane works or whatever like his because you can't get the items. Yeah, so like I don't get it. I don't know. Limbo's so like. Weird people. I feel like if you just played a Trinity with it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because then you could just get the energy you needed anyway. I don't know, but people do not like Limbo. I, I've seen people that will just DC when a Limbo gets on their team. And I, I don't care that much. I've never been fucked over by a Limbo before, so I don't really care. 
Plus, I don't understand what's so weird about it. <coughs> oh my god, oh, dude. It's non stop. Alright, I'm heading to the Borox. You want to go around towards those, uh. Be right back, going to WC. Okay. I don't know what WC is, but. I don't know what WC is either. What? You want to go back towards where those, uh. Bullymongs are? There's, there's Borox that spawn over there, like along the coast. I did not know that. Yeah, you just have to follow really close to the coastline. God, really? Can we talk about one of those no two-legged drifters? I haven't seen one. Do you, do you have your phone out? No, it's in my room. Damn, I was going to say, this is something we might need to look up. Okay, I'll do these Borox, and then I'll go look that up. Bully Mong spawn on the coast. I don't know. Oh, is that what it is? I thought it was yeah, Borox. No, see these? Yeah, it's Bully Mong. Okay. Surprised Bully Mong is not one of the things, but it'll ban of Skags is. Uh, you could drive around and look for those slag spores. I know a bunch I'm of those spawn. I'm looking real quick. Damn, dude. See, this is what I'm talking about. I never keep up on Warframe meta, and it always just comes back to haunt me. I'm not worried about uh, Warframe meta. We'll figure it out pretty quickly when we get back into it, because we have everything we need, basically, to get back into it. We're working on not getting back into Warframe and just getting your achievements. <laughs> Fair enough. It's a sad day, but yeah. Well, the thing is, is, we'll probably have to learn it in order to get the achievements. That's always how Warframe Maybe. is. Maybe. I mean, the only meta I think we have to learn is like Eidolon hunting, really. We don't have any skin customizations in it, yeah. Yeah, there, there are a lot that drop in this area. I don't know why. Did you not? Okay, why are there literally no two-legged drifters? What? Why am I stuck where I can't see anything? Oh, because you're here. All right. I am going to look it up. Have fun. Don't get lost. Fuck you, I hate when I click on that. No, I don't want that. Oh, I hate when you do this shit. I believe that was a pink Borok. No. Yeah, the guide is literally just this. So the pink Borox, it says to literally farm that area you're going to, then go to that Scylla's Grove, then come right back. Yeah, that's what I figured it was supposed to be for the people. Okay, and rocks. then the two legged drifters, th we have to farm them here. They just have a 40 to 50% chance of spawning. Oh, so we just have gotten extremely no. unlucky. unlucky. Yes. The tail of Scalions, it, it says to spawn in the to go to Adorton Station, but tail of Scalions, we don't need to worry about. We, we know where they spawn, and we need like one. Yeah. Not a big deal. And then the slag spores, it says, Adorton Station next to the entrance to Scylla's Grove. Stay to the left and drop down the cliff, down by the giant tree, and two spores will spawn. Doubles your chance of a slag compared to the same map near the transport station. So I don't really know what that means, but there you go. I know what it's talking about with the giant tree. 
Okay, sorry. I, I missed. Sorry, I opened up a, a guide, so I missed the chat right there. Oh. Uh, what I'm going to do into void mode, press XTRL in operator mode. It has my Warframe from critical to 100% HP in 5 seconds. Yesterday I got the most broken OP bad shit. Crazy arcane in the game. Nice. Wait, which arcane did you get? The one that gets his health back. Oh, really? When That's I go into weird. void mode, um, it heals my Warframe from critical to 100% HP in 5 seconds. I, did not, I haven't even fucked around with arcanes yet. And I know that people wanted to trade them a lot in trade chat. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm so out of place with this uh, Warframe meta. So behind the times. Oh wait, just try and teleport back. What are we doing? Yeah. We're teleporting back. What do you mean we're teleporting back? Oh, we already did teleport back? Yeah. Oh shit. I went to Silas Grotto and then I came back out here. They're just really finicky about spawning. Didn't you? I thought that you were the one that incited it. The travel? No. You didn't start a travel? No. How did, did you come to me? Did you walk all the way over to me? No. So you had no trouble. This arcane makes you pretty much immortal. Okay, something got real glitchy because none of them spawned. Okay, I'm leaving and I'm coming back. No. No. Okay. Did it spawn? Yeah, that arcane sounds kind of busted. That arcane does sound kind of busted because just not dying in Warframe means that you can pretty much just farm as long as you want. As long as you have a halfway decent weapon, if you don't die, you'll yeah, eventually kill Yeah, what are kill some of the best player. weapons right now? Yeah. Because the weapons that we used to use, even when we went back before, had all been nerfed and are no longer like high tier weapons anymore. Yeah. So what, what are like actually high tier weapons now? Sanctuary. That's what it's called. Sanctuary Onslaught? That's what that horror mode's called? Is that what it's called? Sanctuary Maybe. Also? Fuck, dude. Like, I, I've been trying to... <laughs> I've been trying to think of that for, like, ever. Because they nerfed my Tonkor. <laughs> that weapon was stupid. Yeah, Tonkor was stupid. What else did they nerf, though? They nerfed a lot of weapons. I Tigris. Like. Huh? Tigris. I thought Tigris was stupid, dude. I don't know. It probably is still pretty good. I, just I don't know. Apparently worked. the best weapons but for melee is Infested Zoffram. I knew that. Infested Zoffram sets, but you have to do that during the uh, um, Ghoul Purge, or the Purge, or whatever it's called. Ghoul Purge. God, but, uh, what else did I really like? Well, they never nerfed of what, what was that weapon I really liked? The Phage? That oh, the Phage. That out. item. But I used Mesa's fourth ability, melting everything left and right. Oh, so you're just using Mesa the whole time, yeah? Okay. Makes sense. Why are they not spawning? How do you keep up with that much energy, though? Why are they not spawning? Flaky. Yes. I'm getting tilted. Well, there's another option that we can try. Nope. Hatchet. I refuse. Hatchet. Don't look at me. Hatchet. Don't talk to Can me. Can you hand me my pop from over there? I have mods at max rank plus my Zenuric out of bound school. Ah, uh, yeah, I haven't finished Zenuric yet, so there you go. So I can generate energy nonstop. Yeah, I've been working on Zenuric, but I don't have it yet. really just a sad day for me. It really is. I chose a shitty school because I was literally... That was two-legged. That was two-legged straight out in front of you. There it is. Go in for it. Can you snipe it or something? Well, you're actually, you'll go. You're going that way. And when I pick energy orbs, they grant me plus 25% more energy, which is stackable. 
Yeah. See, I fucked up. I chose like Naru because at the time I was just trying to get the focus achievement. Because I don't know if you were playing Warframe when Focus Schools originally came out, but the grind was horrid. Yeah. For focus game, horrid. It's not bad anymore, but it was fucking terrible. It used to be. So I chose the school that costs the least amount of focus, and now farming for schools is like not bad. So, like. I should have just done generic. So we need how many two-legged drifters? Six. Eight or six? Well, we got one. Mm -hmm. You've been playing since closed beta, yeah. So you know what we're talking about then. We haven't played since closed beta. We played, uh, I don't know. Three four or five years? Yeah, four or five years maybe. I was going to say three or four years ago, but it's, yeah, we've been playing not nearly as long. And nobody uses lenses anymore, to be honest. You just farm idols. 45 minutes grants you 500,000 focus. Yeah, we that's when we, we quit because we that's all we had left to do in that game was farm idols, and I, I just don't know how, basically. So I quit. I, I've never done it before. Yeah. Like, my friend, we, we were doing Warframe with a friend, right? And we were trying to get him to farm Eidolons with us. And what he did is he just kept joining planes of Eidolon, like quite, kept like going into it until he found a group already doing an Eidolon. And then just basically tagged along for the win, like didn't do any damage or anything. Yeah, he just hijacked the. Oh, that's a fat moron. And then just yeah. got the achievement. Hey, how's it going? Quiet. Happy. Sad. Did you bring us so many food, or what's going on? What the f- No. Oh. Can you bring us so many food? Why? Ackman, did you get my text? No. Okay. I just remembered at work today, I wanted to verify, I still need the $42 for electric. Okay, I'm going to the bank later today, so there you go. Right. Okay, where's this two-legged fucking drifter? 500,000 focus in 45 minutes, that's disgusting. I killed the, uh, drifter already. I know, where's more? There's one fucking two-legged drifter dude. No, if you drive around, they'll just spawn. No, I don't think they spawn indefinitely. No, 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 they don't spawn indefinitely, but there was only one spawned. No, oh, I've killed them already. You killed three? At first, I had one like something very complex. Hence, I wasn't bothering farming them as well, but once you learn it, it's so easy and simple. Yeah, I've seen people, you need, like, certain guns maxed out, though, right? Like, I think it's the Opticor is super good. I want to say it's the Opticor is really good at killing Eidolons. But I've seen, like, pictures of people fighting it. Like, you need, like, a Volt. A Volt, and, oh, God, I really don't know what else. I've, I've watched people do Eidolons, though, and they'll do, like, the thing where they, like, snipe it for, like, six million damage or something like that, and then it just dies immediately. But people complain about the lures all the time. I don't know. It just seemed, yeah, it seemed too complicated for me. I mean, it's probably not, like, but I just didn't feel like doing it, so I just quit playing Warframe. Time. Well, I quit playing for a lot of reasons. Mostly because the friend that we were doing Warframe with started spending an insane amount of money on the game. It kind of took all the fun away, because we were farming together, but then it, we weren't farming together anymore, because he had constant boosters on. And we didn't, so he didn't want to farm as much as we did. Chroma and plus Volt plus Trinity plus Hero, and you need Lanka for millions and millions of damage per shot. Lanka, there you go. I couldn't, I couldn't remember what it was. We have all of those frames. We do not have a Chroma. I have a Chroma. You have a Chroma. I have a Chroma. I, I never think Ben did has a Chroma thing. too. I never did the thing for Chroma. Uh, you just do the what do you call it? Like the. Um, Oh, not outpost, but the like planetary Jor things. Yeah, Joints? junctions. Junctions. There you go. God, I really can't. I uh, you could tell I haven't played Warframe in like six months ish. Actually, probably no, six months is better, right? Okay, actually, you ready to go to the next area? I'm gonna go check Arizona's pit. I want to try fast traveling to a Dorton station. Because that's where it says like these slagged spores will spawn. 
and the tail of scaliums. So we can get both of those, we'll be down to just farming this area. Give me a two legged Arizona. Nope, go ahead. I don't think it can spawn a two legged Arizona. I don't know. I'm kind of far away from it. I feel like I do. A Lanka? Is that the yeah. sniper? I think it's a sniper, yeah. I think that we do. It's like One a corpus weapon, I'm pretty sure. In the corpus lab. Okay, if we don't just... have it, we definitely have it researched. Because we, ha we have, between the two of us, we have a, uh... We have a, uh, what's it called? Plan. And we put all the resources into it, just the two of us. Yeah, our dojo has been like dojo. years mm -hmm. of like work or whatever. Jeez. Okay, so here's Scalion's already right here. And it says that there should be spores like really close by. Yeah, it's in this uh... <coughs> Well, there's one. One. One more. There's a tail of Scalion. There's a spore. That's the last one we need. There you go. <laughs> There's a s'more. Yeah, so this is awesome. You just travel here and they have immediately spawned. Like, although it's not the s'more we need. Well, that's kind of shitty. Okay, so then now we're just going to travel right back to that last station then. Okay. Yeah, because there's the other s'more right there. So this spawns two. Unfortunate it didn't spawn the two that we needed. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's got a 40 to 50% chance and we get neither. We got nothing. Nothing. Okay, so pink borok spawns in this area. Two-legged drifter spawns in this what area. The there's still a chance that the slag spores can spawn here because there's like two spore spawns. Here, too. Here? Or in yes. Hunters? In Hunters. Yeah. They spawn right over there. In that, like, general corner. Yeah, well, I'm heading towards the Borox. So I feel like we might have to, like, actually save and quit every time, though. Because sometimes it feels like they don't respawn. It does feel like they don't respawn. God, that is really good. Hey, Ben. What? Did I tell you the story about Cluckles, my favorite chicken? Jesus. Yeah, I did. Because I was telling everybody at work, and they didn't seem to grasp exactly how much my heart was broken due to my favorite chicken. Sorry. He passed away before his prime. The bee is not a chicken. The bee is a bee. He was the only sheriff in town, Ben. You don't understand. Yeah, see, there's a spore right there. Hey, you're not slag spore anymore. There's definitely way more spore spawns in that other area, though. Craig slag or whatever. Oh, this is a giant security spore. Yeah, yeah. Well, take the firepower of America. They're all giant spores. Shit, they're all dead. Oh, and that's another incendiary spore. Now, Hatchet, what do you think the odds are that a two legged drifter spawned? Because I'll let you know already. What do you think the odds are that anything respawned in this area? Because I can tell you, it's 0% chance. Good. Well, then we're doing God's work. Saving and quitting, quitting and saving. My favorite thing about games is when you have to save and get them to farm enemies. Because that's like... Four extra loading screens? No, it's like exactly what you purchase a game for. For constant hours of fun saving and quitting. 
in order to get shit. So what did you get, by the way, Ben? That smells really good. There was a wetland drifter there. No, he's got his headphones on. It's not a two-legged drifter, though. It's not the one we're looking for. Was it me? Was it me you were looking for? Alright. You know what? I want to do some freedom plays. I've been thinking about it, but I want to do Looney Jerry. An AP thing I just loaded. threw up a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> I was to I'm torn between doing like the fast, easy completions and the longest possible shit that you can do. Hey, Wetland Drifters, is there any possible way that you could stop being like, you know, four legged? Just go ahead and tear off two of its legs and it'll count. Is that ow, is that how it works? Look, there's another one over here. Does that have four legs or two, Ash? What do you want to think? Wow, look at that. Four. There's another one there. There's another one over here. It's got four legs. Fucking X. Another one. How many legs? Four. You. Dicks. Cockamini assholes. Look, I ran into it. Tried to assert dominance by taking out its leg. Did it work, Hatchet? it? not. And a phone call, or is your phone just bugging the I hell out? I am getting a phone call. Because if my parents would not call me for one day, that would be some sort of, like, blasphemous act. Sometimes they call me three to four times a day. It's, it's, the word annoying pops into mind, but I want to go with the word annoying. Okay, wetland drifters. I know you're out here. Show yourself. Well, there's a giant corrosive spore, which is close to the slag spore we needed. Hey! Fuck you. Where are you at? Ashton, have you found any pink borax yet? Not a one. Well, we're at three, so... The fact that you found none is pretty good. I'm not done with all the spawns in this area yet. That's a slag motherfucker. Slag spore hatchet? Yeah. Woo! Woo! That is getting me all hot and bothered, Ash. So the second I pick up my turret, you all decide to come out of your hiding holes. I can respect it. Okay, Playing I like a bitch flag spore, Hatchet. I is an acceptable tactic. Hatch, kill the slag spore, forget about them. I will kill the slag spore when I get the opportunity to kill the slag spore. No! Which will be very shortly because I have two turrets about to go up on its ass. Gotcha, ass. Martial law. Wait, Why wait. are they obsessed with martial law? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's a good question. We're still at three out of eight for the pink war ox. Pieces of bone. I, I guess. So what? What, what, do we, what? What's the play here? Then? Do we? Do we? Just travel to that place with the spores, and then we travel back. I'm gonna reload the game. Hopefully we won't have to. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. I went to a menu. I did too. Okay. Alright. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Actually, no, I, I'm gonna disagree with you there. I'm gonna disagree with you. Why is that? 
Oh, you can't figure it out. <laughs> I don't know what to do to help you. Alright, I'm, I'm just guessing by the way that this DLC is currently going that uh, we will not be finishing Borderlands today. Slag! Spore. Wow, there's a bunch of spores that spawn. Okay, Slag Spore is done. So now the only things we need are in that, like, the very first area, which means it's just better off to save and quit now. Yep. Tail is scaling, though. Those, those, those things spawn willy-nilly. Well, that's because they spawn in packs, like giant packs. The, when Scalium spawn, it's like three times as many as Borox. Now, are there any drifters out here? Because that's one easy as hell. Yes, there are. So the enemies actually respawn this time. I don't think so, because I didn't kill all the drifters last time. You didn't kill that one? I didn't kill most of them. As soon as I saw... You know, I'm, that's it. I'm just... Re I'm, just yeah. I'm not going to walk around. I'm just going to go straight to it. We already know. We already know. This is fun and interactive gameplay. I'm going to let it be known that I disagree with that statement. Well, fuck you too, Angel. Alright. I'm back into it. You wetland drifter piece of shit. You wetland drifter piece of shit. Why are you not two legged? Is, is there a two legged one over here? Hey, hey, hey. Hey? Nope. No. 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 Insult to injury. Why? Why, why? why is Borderlands known for this? They always have these one quests that are just like, just horrid quests. They're just like, like <gasps> two legged drifter! Two legged drifter! Two legged drifter! Go get it, Flaky. Ah. Mm -hmm. right, you just. Do you take. Why do you take no damage? You gotta shoot his balls. There you go. Oh, and then. There we go. Two legged drifter. More like two legged drifter. I don't know. There you go. Two out of six on the drifters. Woo! Yeah! Nice. Nice, yeah. Oh, I got so excited. I saw two legs come out of the water, and I was like, there's two. There's two in one fucking save and quit. And then, no. Just no. I got two legs, <laughs> and then two more to fuck a flaky. God damn it, dude. I saw two legs came out. I was so happy. Then two more legs came out, and I got so insanely sad. Alright, I will pay top dollar for two-legged drifters to spawn right now. Just kill all the drifters to let them know that you're angry. That's it. No, I want to torture every drifter to within one inch of death. Drifters, you fuckwads, come, come fight me. <laughs> Bless you. Hey, stand in front okay, of seriously, us. drifters, come out here and fucking fight me, okay? Seriously. I will hunt you down in your own lands. Where are you? You drifter pieces of shit. Dude, there's no drifters now. They, they've disappeared. They've, they've despawned. They know. They know the, the pain that is here to fuck with them. I don't know why I said it like that. I was really weird. English is hard. Dude, drifters, they're not even spawning now. They're not even coming out of their little rabbit holes. Please, drifters. Fight me, fuckwads. I know drifters spawn over here, okay? I know they spawn right here. Where are you at? Where are you at, drifter? Oh, hey, what's up, Killing Serial? Playing some zombies on, what, Black Ops 2, 3, 4, 1? 
World of War. Infinite War, or not Infinite. Wait, yeah, Infinite Warfare is on me. But I was thinking of Advanced Warfare. Wait, was that a pink one? Huh? No, it wasn't. Yeah, I actually really want to do those zombies achievements on every Call of Duty. I want to complete every Call of Duty, actually. I said I'm best doing flux at those again. The man will not play with us, Flaky. He messaged me this morning that he is playing Dark Souls, so. Wait, he wants us to go play Dark Souls? No, I just know that he is playing Dark Souls. Okay, well, a bunch of Iridium spawned here. Yeah, what, what zombies are you playing? Sorry, that's the only question I'll ask you because I understand that zombies is very hectic. It's very what? Hectic. Oh, very hectic, yeah. Yeah, I just want to know if he's playing Mob of the Dead because that shit gets me hot and bothered. Alright, Ashton, have you killed the Borox? Uh, I believe so. I'm going to go check the last uh, thing again. I'm ready to save and quit. Start again. Um. Go ahead. This sucks. This sucks. Did you get any pink four? Nope. Now? Not one. Not a one. Not a, not a single. One. Not a single one. <laughs> good. 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 Good, 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 I'd like to rate that as a 10 out of 10. Hey, did you see, did you go on Twitter today? No. So you didn't DM any of those Twitch artists? No. I'm at I'm following so many of them now on Twitter, though. It's ridiculous. So, I don't know, most of them do, like, chibi art, though, so I was still... I was still thinking like we'd do like a, I don't know, me holding a trophy, then you holding a trophy, and then us both holding a diamond achievement. I don't know. For the emotes, I don't really know. I thought that's what we were doing for the sub tiers. Oh, the sub badges? Yes, yeah, so then the emotes then. Or we could do those for the uh, emotes. Why, Drifters, why? Why are the Drifters like this? Why do they continue to just not spawn with two legs? Oh, kill them. They just despawned. They're just, they're just, what? Yeah, I think that one despawns weirdly. Only like half of them are even spawning right now. Dude, they are glitched to fuck. I think this area is just glitched to fuck. Maybe we actually do need to travel to another area to travel back. Did you take off your uh, regen ammo mod? No, I didn't. Huh. Why? Oh, there it started. The hell? It's because I had a car. Okay, why are those drifters despawn? I know. That's really bad. Because I only got to like two of the spawns, and there's normally like five. It definitely was because you were in a car. Huh? 100%. The ammo thing? Yeah. Yeah. Should I not be in a car then to do my rounds here? I don't care. I know, but is it glitching these drifters? Because why do they despawn? I don't know. Fuck, Ash, I don't know what to do. Cause now look, none of them are even spawned. N none of the drifters are spawned. Maybe you just shouldn't get in the car whenever we uh... Fuck. I'm not gonna- okay, I wanna travel to another area. But you're fighting the Borox. Yeah. Well, shit, Hatchet. Well, shit, Hatchet. What happened over there, Hatchet? Uh, I about one. 
two or three badasses spawned. Wow, we killed one pink Borok though. Whoa! I actually didn't even get to see him. There he is. Nice. Just at the feet of my turret. Nice, nice, nice. It's always nice when you walk back to your turret and there's just bodies. I would imagine. Actually, I want to complete a lot more games. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Like, basically, all saying every game I own would be a, like, understatement of how many I want to complete. Alright, you can go ahead and travel if you want. Yeah, I do. I want to travel and then come back and see if those drifters respawn. So we're just going to go to uh, Carousel's Grove and come right back. See if those drifters respawn. Because that's really tripping me out. I don't know why they're mean like this. Dicks. Uh, Alright. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hunter's got up. Good news is we're slightly farming XP. Not the ideal way to do it, but. Ten at a time. <laughs> yes. Yes. When they're at our level, it's like a hundred and some odd. So, nope. Save and quit then. Yup. The next time, don't get in the car. I guess. Wow, this is this is. You know, I already hated the steel sea the most, already, because I didn't like the area. I didn't like the whole design of it. Now I'm hating it even more. Hey, they fixed that glitch where, uh, there used to be a glitch where if you were always joining a host, it wouldn't give you progress towards the game. So, like, one time Justice and I got, like, all the way through a game, and he had been hosting the whole time, and I was like, I want to play this by myself just a little bit. And I was a level 30-something on my first gun. Nice. I don't see the problem with that. Well, the problem was is I loaded up the game and I had a full loadout, and uh, my first gun is not a, uh, probably not the correct, we just got a torque coin out of that? Excuse me? No, we got a video. It showed up a torque coin for me. Well, there you go, Atcha. Two-legged drifter, right, right fucking there, Atcha. There's like five drifters that spawn here. Yeah, and last time two of them spawned. What the f- What are you doing here? They're always here. Okay, fuck you guys. I don't- I, I just need to get this structure before it despawns. If it does. Okay. There we go. I don't care. I can't despawn now. It's dead. How much experience do you get from that? I got 10. Alright. What, you got 12 or something? No, I got 10. 10? Oh, you took off that kill one? No, I have it on. I was just wondering at what point it starts affecting it. Because it's 4%. Sometimes I have noticed you getting like 3 XP when I get 2 for something, so... Mm -hmm. So I don't know when it actually kicks in. I'm it probably like just... Browns up. Or uh, it I was probably gonna say, saves probably the some percentages. things that are like actually giving you like 2.9 experience. And the next one it pops three. No, I was gonna say where normally it would just round always round down, but with the four percent it goes okay, that would be three then. I don't I don't know. Oh see I was thinking like it keeps track of my four extra percent, so like on a ten kill it I get point four. So like two or three kills later, it'll give me the extra yeah, one sure. percent. I yeah, I couldn't tell you. There's a pink Borok though. That's nice. You know what we do need to do? Destiny. We really need to finish. Really this. need to do Destiny. Yeah, we really need to finish Destiny. All right, one more pink Borok. Because these guys are killing the drifters. Uh, six out of eight 
pink for Alex. That's nice. So now it's, you need me to save and quit already? No, I'm still fighting. Cause I'm, mine are all either dead or dead. I think there's actually one that spawns over here. I don't want to say it's dead already. Farming the Borox that would be much faster to save and quit. It will, because this, this is a trek. What the heck? I do believe we're done. I will go into that. What the heck? If this is my mother, what the heck? If this is my mother, I will be upset. I think it is. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I know, I'm the last person you want to see. I know, because we are streaming. Sorry, but your dad freaked out when he saw this. Alright. Do you know? Of course you know. Well, mother. This is probably not the time to be going over this. I know. So, I can talk to you later about it. Okay. Well, I can pay off almost all of it. So give me a call when you can talk. Yes. That's why I didn't answer my phone earlier. I said, I said I would call FCC and talk to him, Jason. I won't talk to you. So. Oh. Okay. Okay, call me when you can. Mother. And then Dad. Settle down. You're out of control, Mother. You're out of control. I yeah, I, to I told you guys. I already told you earlier on the stream. It's, it's every day. It's every day. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> I, don't know what this is. I think this is just why it's doing well. Uh, okay. I thought it was going to be your doctor bill from earlier. Are you getting spanked? What happened? You didn't oopsie? No. It's my student loans that are like accruing because I, I dropped out of school basically. So now they're wanting me to pay back my student loans because it's been six months. And it just went to my parents' house and now they're freaking out. But I'm already paying my student loans. I have auto pay. Are they just coming out monthly? Yeah, it comes out. Well, the problem was it was coming out of my bank account. But you remember how my bank account yeah, just yeah, got yeah, shut yeah. down? So they had tried to take the money out when my bank account was shut down. Uh, so now they sent me a letter. Now my parents know, and now they're freaking out. And I'm like, don't worry. It's taken care of. I'm an adult. <laughs> I, I am an adult, yes. I understand. Like, I can afford student loans. It's super cheap. It's like $50 a month. It's, like, not expensive at all. You could probably get them cheaper if you actually wanted to. Mine are, like... No, 50 is the minimum. No, mine are, like, 40-something. Did you take a private loan out? Mm -hmm. uh, it, I think it kind of depends on who's your, uh, like, loan. Oh, I guess, yeah, mine through Nelnet. Mine was through, it's called Great Lakes Bar. Great Lakes, yeah. That's, that's who you have? That's, no, that, I have Nelnet, but Great Lakes is the other one. Yeah. Mine's through Great. Nelnet, and 50 is the minimum. But I'm also paying my parents to, my parents' loans that they took out for me, because they just kind of screwed me over. Hmm. So, Basically, that one's a minimum of 120. Though. Yeah, no, mine are like 40 some bucks a month, but the only reason why I'm doing that is because you can actually call them and you can tell them like how much you make a year, and then they can actually lower them depending upon how much you make. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I make enough money to afford, but 50, the only reason it's so cheap is because if you actually like pay yours on time and like within the six months, then it's $50, which is pretty cheap. So I don't even mind. Like fifty dollars a month, dude. You could like. No, yeah, I, I get it. Like not work, yeah. Make sure you pay for that shit. 
Yeah, I want to call them and be like, hey, F University, I'm man, it's a fucking scam. Dude. True. Well, I, 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 at first, I didn't believe that, though. Like, okay, when I first graduated high school, I believed that. I was like, going to college is a scam because, like, there's so many good jobs out there that don't require it. And then I was like, no, university's not a scam. So I went to college. And then during college, I changed my mind back to my original thought process, and I was like, it is a scam. Like, there's things that they teach you in college that I want to learn, but I don't feel like you need to go to a college to learn well, that it, shit. And the worst part about it is that the first two years are everything you just learned in high school. It's everything. all generals. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, generals. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, okay, this is fucking dumb. I just spent four years of my life doing this. Why do I need another two? Well, especially because a lot of the generals that you take, like, you... You li- like yeah, you literally passed it already, and you're like, I passed this class in high school. Like I have it on my fucking record. Why do I need to pay four hundred dollars or what? It's more than that. Whatever, it's yeah, like, whatever. It's it like five hundred dollars for the class and like a hundred dollars for the book <laughs> to, yeah. to take this shit again. It's so. dumb as fuck. Yeah. So university is a scam. Like there's things I want to learn that I want to like. You have to take college classes for. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're done with Pink Borox, so we gotta save him quick. Well, Dude, I got the, two there? Damn. These these motherfuckers are not spawning, by the way. Yeah. University's a scam only because of how much it costs. Ugh. It's still, like, almost... Imp- Ugh. I just... The system is what's messed up about it. I don't know. I'll have to go back on that website and see if my auto pays all jacked up or something. It probably is. It probably is like, hey, you got a new account. Fix this. Wait, actually, no, this might not be. See that one out there. Oh man, student fucking loads. I think maybe we have to kill all of them for them to respawn completely the next time through. By the way, I have a feeling that that is what is going on. What? That we should kill all of them. For them to spawn correctly. Yeah, because they are not spawning the way that they're supposed to. Because they should be spawning over here, too. Okay, I haven't gotten two. Well, these, these ones aren't even spawn. Okay, yeah, they're... They're, like, not loading in until you get really close to them for some reason right now. Uh, yeah, there's two more over here. Another one too late, I guess, Yeah, I don't know where the one that's normally over here is. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. Yeah, these guys are all dead now. Oh, yeah, it's a fishing place. Alright, so now we're back to saving or reloading again. Woo! Fun and interactive gameplay. That was something I really enjoyed more, Frame. What? Fishing. Fuck, fishing was legitimate, though. That is not a lie. That is not a lie, dude. I wish I could do fishing again. You can't connect to host when I'm in a goddamn loading screen. That's so funny. Alright. Let me see if... No. But that did make them spawn correctly. So, now we know. Just kill all of them. It's so lame, though. 
That's so lame. If you just shoot at it, it'll walk towards you. What this, this is, is actually, it's saying that I didn't pay for a class. And that should have been taken care of by, like... Loans? Yeah, loans. So now that is worrisome. Because I can't afford to pay for a class. So now I do have to do some research and figure out what's going on. Did you kill all of them? I killed two of them. I killed mine over here. Uh, how should I believe that's all of them? Three out of six. That's where we're going to stay for the rest of this stream, I believe. It's supposed to be a 50% chance, and, um, uh, well, out of four, we got zero. I think what it means is there's a 50% chance that one of the four is going to be. Uh, a fifty percent chance that you said one of the four. Yeah, like there's a fifty percent chance so that we'll get so one. So it's like a twenty-five. Why would they not just say a twenty-five percent spawn rate then? Something like that, I guess. There's a fifty percent chance that one out of the four. To, that's that's like less than twenty-five percent actually. Wow! Look at these! Look at these! Look at these! Oh! Oh, there was a leg. Motherfucker. God. Damn it, Hatchet. God damn it, Hatchet. You know, they're actually fixing some of the Warframe's butts. In Warframe. What do you mean? Some of the Warframe's butts in their Prime version are smaller than their regular frame butt. Ah. And then when you put on skins, it'll change the size of their butt. The community is not happy about that. The community likes their Warframe's to be sexualized. <laughs> the community wants their Warframe's to be thick, okay? Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal with light water. Alright, so that's all of them. That's all she wrote. Why? Why is this a quest? Why, SpongeBob? Why? I hate this game. I'm just kidding, I don't hate this game. I hate this quest. There's certain things about this game that we hate. Wish I had food. Why did Claptrap just die? Huh? Oh, it's because I was on the home screen and he fell off the cliff. Okay. Wait, where did you spawn there? White Land Drifter. White Land Drifter. White Land Drifter. I'm getting tilted. I can't see the last one yet. Go over here, you shit lord. Oh, there's a two legged motherfucker. There's a two legged drifter? Mm hmm. Oh my god. One. One, folks. One has spawned. Yes, four out of six. Yes, is that all of them then? Believe so. Let me go get this iridium. Nope, that's not iridium, that's that.
Saving and quitting and quitting and saving. Outside and directed gameplay. <laughs> I feel the so, need to say that every time. Save and quit. Quitting and saving. Saving and quitting. Can we just get two? You can hear the sadness in my voice. Oh, that's a sadness of a man. Broken beyond his will to live. Oh, hey, it told me that I have four golden keys available. I already knew that. There's another not too legged one. Is that what we're looking for? Oh, two! 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 two, two regular! None! Two legged fucking drifters! And there's the fourth one. Let me guess. Yes, the normal amount of legs for a drifter. Yes. As I do believe that we should save and quit. After we kill them. I've already killed my ninja. They've been dead for longer than you've been alive. And they are dead now. Iridium, don't you dare. Alright, we're good. This quest, this quest, really sucks. Have you ever wanted so badly for just two of them to be what you need? Yes. Four layer. I just wanted to point the gun at my own character. Commit character suicide. You fucking four layer piece of shit. Oh, two legged drifter. There we go. You motherfuckers killed the one that I could- I didn't even get a chance. Fuck you guys. Oh my god, I thought I saw another one. I was like, dude, it spawned too! Okay, so you killed yours then? Just about... There we go. You're done? The, uh... Enemies actually killed this one. Hopefully that doesn't fuck with it. That was a two-legged one, was it? No. Hatchet, that was a two-legged one. No. And of course it was, Hatchet. Our luck would only say that it'd be a two-legged one. Our house in the middle of our street. Our, our house. house in the middle of our house. Our house. <laughs> In the middle of another house, there's a- oh my god. That's it? Yeah, I thought you were gonna fucking rocket it. It's gonna die to the fucking bandits. No! Dude, it actually is gonna die to the bandits. No, 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 no. Actually, two-legged drifters are stronger, so they're probably good. Oh. Martial law? We're talking about the martial law again, Hatchet. A fucking skin custom. There we go. Done that. Achievement on fucking lock. That DLC is Dunzo. Dunzo picks up the Bunzo. Okay, please fast travel us the fuck out of here, Hatchet. Where am I going? Are we going to go do that arena? Uh, yeah. Travel, travel us to um, Iridium Blight. I think it's gonna be near the bottom. The top is all DLCs.
There we go, Iridium Blight. Oh, that's... There we go. Woo! Yeah! Okay, we also still need to kill Donkey Mario. I don't know if you remember that. I do remember that. That's here anyways. Yeah, we have like a 10% chance to spawn. We could try killing oh. that level 50 thing. I don't think that we can do that. Oh, come on, man. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, can we can we spawn? We cannot spawn the boats. Sad fucking day. Really fucking is that it? All right. Donkey Mong spawns next to where King Mong spawns. It's like down there. I think he spawns up here. No, hundred percent, it's down that way. Here, here. Because they they marked it on the map for us. Let me. Yeah, it spawns like down in this. No, they, it's not a quest, so they never marked it on the map for us. No, no, no. That thing that you were looking at before. M oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Donkey Mong spawns there, or er, King Mong spawns over there, and Donkey Mong's supposed to spawn that way from them, I believe. Yeah, because there's King Mong. So he's supposed to spawn somewhere, somewhat near. This is a good way to farm Iridium, by the way, just killing him. Yeah, I think King Donkey Mong spawns over here. That's fine, but I'm gonna go get this Iridium, because good god, we need some. I think he spawns like right over here. You want here. this? Oh, it's level 24, never mind. No, well, but I guess we're gonna be doing this frickin' Hyperion slaughter shit. Go ahead. Or is it not a fast travel thing? I thought it was a travel thing. No, so I think Donkey, Donkey Kong spawns. I think he spawns up here, so I'm not even really killing him. Yeah, when I he kill him, I think he spawned up here, like right around here. We should just look it up, honestly. Ooh, but it's a Hyperion slaughter, and I have an amazing corrosive assault rifle. I have an amazing corrosive sniper. Or er, amazing corrosive uh, SMG is what it is. Tired of constructors building new Hyperion robots? Shoot them in the eye and interrupt the build process. I didn't know that actually. Symbol and arena. Oh god, this this stream is basically going to be filled with like all of my favorite things from Borderlands. This is going to be super easy though. This is like a little twenty something mission. Yeah, that doesn't make it any more fun though. No, it doesn't make it any more fun, but it makes it a lot less bullshit than the last thing. You will deliver oral. There you go. Time to do this. Time to do this. Oh my god, what are they? These guys aren't actually like 24. Holy shit, they just died so fast. Oh, I want to kill at least one guy. No. Yeah, I just have my turrets on their spawn points. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Welcome to the tour, everybody. How are you guys doing today? It's a good day to just shit on some enemies after what we've been through. Oh, that was really all bad. Unfortunately. Well, we, gotta, we have to do five waves of this. This is going to go super fast. Oh, that's three waves, and then five more after that. Oh, these guys are humans. Never mind, I'm gonna go through these guys with shotguns. I need to point blank kills. Hey, come here! Come here! Well, I almost fell off into the lava. That would've been embarrassing. That would've been hilarious. Dude, it's super easy with these point blank kills. I told you, you just need to be fighting people that are at lower levels. 
That's, that you was another just, You can't just throw your turrets in their fucking spawn points, my guy. That's not that's not fair or balanced gameplay for the enemies. I didn't say it was fair or balanced. I said <laughs> it was what I wanted to do. <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. Hey, I'm not a fan of you guys giving out shield, okay, surveyor? That yeah, so I threw a grenade at them and they are dead. Yeah, you guys can, you guys can chill it out with that. Okay. That shotgun did a little bit of damage. These guys are super under level, so I mean, it makes sense that it's just doing a shitload of damage. Surveyor? Is that what's left? It's one surveyor. Well, that was round one. That was round one. Well, there you go. That well, was quick. I'm going to continue to throw my thing at their uh, spawn point. Spawn point. Not gonna lie. See ya, Hatchet. Deuces! That's fine, I'll just wait down here. Oh, true. You know what would be really nice, though, actually? Is if uh, we only had to be like three rounds in this one. You will die, seriously. I heard there's a glitch to doing it as well. I was thinking you might be able to do it. Oh, I actually think that there is. You like can hide behind a boulder. Yeah. And so if you like But well, I think the ads kill you. The ads? Yeah, aren't there small threshers? Too? I don't remember. I thought there were. I could have sworn that way. Okay, you guys spawn over. Oh no, you spawn over there. All right. Oh, exploders! Wait. Hey. Are you against the uh, turret in the spawn point now? I actually don't know if it'll survive, even though these are low level exploders. Just kind of fuck up shit. Sure. Whoa, combat engineer. I'm gonna have to play blank for the other God, that death noise is hilarious. Move on! Stand direct and prepare for combat. Moxie, you programmed this this well. Oh, fucking ion loaders. Oh, you got him. I'm going for the point blank so I'm gonna when I can. Okay. I don't think that you can get him on robots. Yeah, that's what. Non-believers would say, but I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer if I try. And I saw her. Okay, I've carried people long enough time to watch my voice. Which which one are you doing? Which zombies are on which game? Killing serial. When are you going to carry us? Yes, carry me, daddy. Carry me through the zombies easter eggs. <laughs> What's these fucking zombies easter eggs, Hatchet? Really bad. I know you do, it's really sad. It's very sad. Power loader. That was new. Power loader, you're not even trying anymore. We used to have this nice relationship where you would try, I would try, and then you would all three of those. That's just done. But now it's just you lose. And Space land and infinite warfare. Sounds like a good time. I have not played that call of duty ever. Do I even own that? Infinite warfare? Yeah. I don't know. I think that's the only card I don't own. Well, that and Black Ops 4. Oh, yeah, but I don't know Black Ops 4 for the first one I can't name. Is that why? Yeah. I'm one of those guys that actually looks forward to the Black Ops campaigns, as weird as that may seem. Actually, not even just a Black Ops campaign, I just kind of enjoy the Call of Duty campaigns. Jump down here, you shitlords. I'll kill you. You'll die. You go to hell and you die. That grenade went so far away from him. Listen, I have a sniper too. So 
mine sniper does a little bit more damage than yours. Wow, that was it. Yeah, this this is going quite fast. Okay, that's nice. You were all you worried about I can't remember this. Well, I swear to God, I've asked you this probably eight thousand times. You've done all the Easter eggs, right? He sure definitely said done. yes. Yeah, I think he said he's done all the Easter eggs. I don't know why I can't remember anything longer than five minutes. All right, send all the arena. All right, answer. Then we have to do the natural selection annex, and then I think we're done. That one's gonna be annoying, just because there's stalkers in it. Yeah, we don't even know where that one is at. I think I know where it's at. It's by know. the Hyperion Preserve, I believe. Yeah, I think it's where we killed Bloodline. Yeah. Uh, uh. I don't know why, but when you said penetrated with bullets, I wanted to play color. Oh, these are like. predominantly exploders and power loaders. And I hate both of those. So. Okay. Okay, so killing two, we're trying to like spam Borderlands 2 until we're finished with it, which is why we're streaming it so much. Oh, did he ask why? <laughs> no, I'm just explaining. Oh, okay. Why we're doing it. We want to finish it really fast and get on the happy dungeons because we found out. That we actually have our old footage of Happy Dungeons, so we won't have to restart it. Super fucking nice. Like, I can't even explain the other side of it. Well, this is a longer wave. Yeah, it's just because <laughs> they're spawning on opposite side. Like if it would spawn together, then it would be that long. Can you not? Why did you have to be able to fly? Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, these are all flying enemies? Fuck, I jet loaders, so they can enemies. fly or they can land. He just died of the poison. They actually are all flying, too. It's really nice. Kill him before he takes off. Got him. I, don't, I can't even see this guy. He's a, he just spawned. I was like, is he in the fucking walkway above? Because I will be tilted. This way. No, but they do walk down it and then jump down over here. Well, the scenery of Borderlands 2 is getting a little old, to be honest. Dude, I can't agree more. I can't I, yeah, I agree. It, it, the game is getting old. I love the game. It is getting old. We just need to get done with it. See, that's the issue, though. It's like, some, like, you know when you do a completion that's like a very really long game, and then you play a game, like, for a really long time? It's gotta be really good to not get, like, very tedious after all, like, a little bit of time, and this game is getting really tedious. Yeah, but it took a lot longer than I was expecting it to take, to be fair. I really like this well, game. Well, Happy Dungeons is gonna be very tedious, I'm letting you know that already. But Never Alone should be a nice break in the, in the action. This is true. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Keep that shit coming. I have 108 of it. Hey, need I remind you that a certain person that's here right now is the reason we're doing Borderlands. <laughs> I forgot that he asked me to do it. I thought it was my choice, but uh, no, it was not, actually. Oh my god. Why are there flying enemies in this arena? This arena was going so fast, so smooth, so nice, and they're like, release the flying enemies. Release the fuckery. <laughs> this is another jet loader I'm about to be dealt It is, isn't it? No, it's a ion. Or no, it's a surveyor. Alright, four out of five. Four out of five, magic. 
hope this is when they start spawning out here. This is good. This makes it easy. Oh, you're just dead, kid. Wait, did you just spawn a yellow Yeah, right after we killed that one. Okay. Okay. That was super easy. I think I think that constructors are a lot harder enemies than they actually are. Giant constructors are hard. Well, when you're like 20 levels above what the enemies are, everything seems pretty easy, so... I know, but like, do you remember when we fought like the first two or three constructors? They all died pretty much instantly. Uh, better check your gear. So what you're saying, Killing Serial, is to not do the pre-sequel directly after this. And get ready for Borderlands 3. That is probably coming out in 2019. So what you're saying is to not double stack Borderlands 2 on stream directly after this. Do the entire Handsome Jack collection, and the only games that we trade off are between the pre-sequel and two. And Borderlands 2. No, I think what he's saying, Hatchet, I believe, is to start Borderlands 1, the Dutch edition. Oh, the Dutch edition, I got oh. oh, there's a ship landing. You understand that shit? Six waves? Yeah. What the fuck? Who the fuck? Suck on that. I thought I jumped off the ledge actually right there for a second. Oh, I was a little not happy. Badass repair surveyor? Are you serious? Very glad I had a turret for that. Very glad I had a turret for that. Well, there's wave one. That's what I believe what he's throwing down is he wants us to do our weekly rotation, but only for it to be between Borderlands, Borderlands 2 and the 3 season. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trolling right now. We're trolling you super hard. I just am a troll. You know that Borderlands, like, the company, argues that this is not cell shaded They're like, it's comic book style, and everybody's what? like, that's what cell shaded is. I wouldn't even say that, but this is for sure cell shaded No, I, I, I literally, like, when I was doing all that research about Borderlands 3 to, like, see if it was actually, like, a thing, or people were just freaking out for nothing... I came across that article that the company just like flat out denies this is cell shaded. I want to know what they think it is. Comic book style. They said it's comic book art. But in what fucking world is that true? Oh, it definitely looks like comic book art, but like. To me, comic book art looks very similar to cell shaded. I guess I'm just in the minority. 50%, yeah! Oh. I shouldn't have picked up my turrets. Yeah, especially since there's badass repair surveyors. I believe two of them. Yeah, there are two. She did a lot of damage to me. So I'm one shot here? Same. Why is it auto pick up a video? What the fuck just did that? Uh, it does sometimes. It's really weird about it. Get him, turrets. Get him, turrets. <laughs> Four out of six. Oh, these are all exploders. Yes, they are. This is actually giving a decent amount of XP for killing some of the Yeah. And I'm actually getting quite a lot of XP from uh, turning in each round. 
If you haven't noticed that. Not really, but... It's like 4,000 per round. Down over there. Right, so I'm down, you another one. Okay. I feel like there's a disconnect between what I want and what you want to do. Oh, okay. Well, I threw a turret. Or I threw a grenade. Well, we really didn't finish this. Yeah, that's not a lie. Last one. Woo! Oh, Jesus. I'm getting rid of these turrets. Right right now. Make fucking season. Fuck you, two super badass loaders that just unloaded your load into me. Did you really need the word? They put their entire load into my butthole. Do I need to word it any differently for you? Literally any differently. Okay. It was raw dogged <laughs> into my a hole. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I referred that a lot better. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you say it was okay. There's so much iridium out here. I am just at a loss for <laughs> words right now. You kept asking me for to like rephrase it, and it, like it just like it only gets more graphic from there. <laughs> oh, baby, give me some of that. Yeah, yeah. You know we need it. We also need to do Dark Souls too. Okay, we need just need to full time stream matches. Just we, we just need to stream. Every 360 game ever, and then move on to the one games. What? There's, we're, we're, we, there, no, we're, we'll do one games as well. Mm -hmm. But let's also do the Persona 4. Uh, I already starting with the war loaders, I see. So the no chill round, I see. God, I hate power loaders. Reload, you dick. Did I just pick up a shit ton of green items? I bet you I did. I did. <laughs> oh, it's spawning a little bit of every loader. Like like Give us a variety out here. I, uh, this ion loader up here is literally just doing nothing. I can do it without the exploders. I really could. I can do it without the exploders. Uh, you know, you gotta take the good with the bad, actually. I, I I could take none of the bad. I'm actually just chilling over here now, just so the enemies can come to me and my turrets. Like they don't uh, they won't have a good time with that. Fall off eventually. What shooting slagged shots? Oh, the snipers. Uh, hello. Point blank, yeah. Oh, I'll let you do that then. I was gonna throw my turret up at the spawn, but uh, that would be rude. I am a murdering bastard. Okay, I want to see how close I am to the point blank kills after I kill this guy. He died quite quickly. Okay, we are at. Why does it keep? What? Keeps taking my fucking. I'm at 457 out of 750. Keeps taking my watch challenges out of the watch area. 457 out of 750. Oh, that's not too bad. Really, I'm actually getting pretty close. Ooh, frames. Ooh, frames. Ooh, chill out there. There's a bunch of rockets getting shot. Like a piece of shit. Power loader? Fuck you up. Get soloed, super badass. 
has no arms. Yeah, I know. That's what I do. Whenever I see a super badass loader, I just aim for its armpits. What? It is fucked up, but at the same time, so is the fact that they exist. That's the most fucked up shit I've ever heard. So is the fact that they exist. Wow, it is dropping. They drop so much iridium, dude. I know. I was thinking the same thing. This is way better than farming that one kid on the loader. Yeah. For iridium? Yeah. Well, it just gives 20 for completing it. Okay, can you can you stop doing AoE damage when you drop Constructor Bot? Let me drop iridium. Jesus Christ, I have so much iridium now. You remember when we are completely out of iridium because of a certain dragon mission? Yes, we do, unfortunately. And now I'm up to like 200, basically. Yeah, I accidentally put something to those furnaces in that last DLC, so... Good job. Well, you know... I think they enjoyed getting Iridium. So, like, it wasn't a total loss. But for me, it was, so It was just a total loss. The, uh, overall happiness went up in the world. I guess. What the fuck? There's no enemies. What are you telling me now? There you go. Oh, there's... There's just a shit ton of these. I actually hate this. No, fucking jet loaders, you got It's just it. jet loaders and repair drones. This is horrid, dude. How come this is like the only place we've seen jet loaders? Uh, there were quite a few towards the end of the main story. Dude, this is the worst. Please throw these out for the Oh, I, I was just throwing grenades. Oh, oh now I'm throwing turrets. Jesus Christ, chill out. I hate the badass fucking. Oh, they drop iridium though. Yeah, I'm up to 122. We're up to 12. <laughs> Fuck off, I don't believe that for a second. No, definitely not. As you should. Ooh, it's fun to ship. Hey, I see these guys. They want to die to point back shotgun kills. You want them? Uh, I threw a grenade at the first three. Hello? Hello, guy. Where are you running? What are you running? Good chance I did. Did you just fall off? You dick! It's not like you need that much help. Who knows? Who knows if this last round can be good? I can throw my turrets down there. There is a way. So, like, if you just come over here. Yep, there you go, the turret. And if we're being honest, that's more help than I actually am. <laughs> and not just because the turrets are broken garbage, they, they actually just do a fuck with it. Or I just actually don't do shit. That's what it is. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, Inbound just started playing Borderlands for the first time, and he was like, Borderlands is a snooze fest. And then, I can't, I think it was DM Brandon was like, well, who are you playing? And then he said, I'm playing Axton. And he's like, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Borderlands is a snooze fest with, these guys, with this guy. I don't know if it's a snooze fest. It probably is when you're playing solo, because then you just... four, man. Oh, four man? Then it probably well, two man's probably about like the best place to play Axton because like you do stuff still. I was just gonna say in general though. Oh my god, this is badass! Yeah, just run away from it. I'll throw my turrets out. They'll take care of it. I was gonna say four player Borderlands are usually a smooth person. You're like, I think dies so fast. 
Oh, these badass Shrillers actually do a fuck of damage. Yeah, the badass constructor's getting shit on me. Something shit on me. Another constructor. That I'm shooting at. The badass fucking surveyor, shield surveyors are getting fucking shit on each other. did five rounds. <laughs> got a sniper. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, now we just need to find the uh, other mission, the Natural Selection Annex. Someone still doing stuff? <clears throat> Alright, let's see if Donkey Kong spawns. And then if not, let's get the fuck out of here. We definitely should have looked up where he spawns. There's two of us here, Hatchet. Oh, my phone is in the other room, as previously stated. Well, my phone's on the chat. It's unfortunate. Yes. That's, there he is. He just spawned. Donkey Kong right there. Okay. Well, that was, uh... Quite uneventful. Yes, he throws barrels. Cut? Say cut. There you go, guys. That's the Donkey Kong achievement. Why not eventful? You can actually just keep going through that uh, thing over there. If you want, like the orgasm that we just came out of. If you just keep going back and forth into that, it should like get a respawn. Or like having the chance to respawn. That was hilarious that you just spawned right there. He has like a, I think a really low spawn rate. I think he has like a 10% spawn rate or something like that. That's not that low. Catch it. He had like a 50% spawn rate on the two legged drifters. That shit took forever. Yeah, I think we have only these two quests left. And then I have a couple areas in like the beginning of the game that I apparently did not discover. Yep. Okay. What? What was that? What My was screen what? just like did that weird yeah. shit. But like the whole thing was white. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think it was something landing in front of you. No, Hatchet. It's Final Fantasy 15 all over again. Yeah, that's not where we're going. Okay, so it's this like wildlife exploitation reserve. Right? Right, right, right. Something like that. I think this is where it is. And then we go inside, and then I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, no. Yeah. I yeah. think it's that Hyperion Dome. I literally think that's what it is. Well, hopefully we can find it. And then after we get done with this five-round thing, I believe we're going to stop streaming at food. Well, I have to go around here. And wow. Do you see that, folks? I doesn't even think about the effect they're going to be in. 
But we do need to get food. Exit to natural selection. Yeah, yeah it's right there. See, it's at the other end, of course, of this entire area, but it is here. Come. Come on, Ajit. No. The amount of times I get stuck on just random shit. Ooh, Flux Hippos has started playing Dark Souls again. Flux Hippos. He's flexing on us right now. He really is. He's trying to show us that he can play Dark Souls and we're stuck with Borderlands. Little does he know, we've already done Dark Souls. And it's our worst guide ever. That's right, one of our favorite games of all time has one of our worst guides ever. Nearly as bad as The Witcher 2. Wow, that was... I feel attacked. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying, Witcher 2 was a shit show. Like, there was times when I was like, do you want to just give up? Like, this is horrid. Ow, how much has this been jacked up? But then... It is done, and that is huge. Makes me very happy. Hatchet did nine hours of farming one day just to find out that that farming didn't matter and he needed to go do something else. It was a sad day for Hatchet that day. That is not a lie. Oh, buddy. Tears were shed in the comfort of his own room. Blood was shed in the comfort of my own room. Blood, did you say blood was shed? <laughs> yes. Okay, that took a turn that nobody was ready for. Not a single person. Okay, here we go. We're going up here and this this should be it. Like to right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember doing this. This is shitty. It won't be shitty this time because well actually I don't know. I don't know what level this is. I think this was actually the last one they added. I think this is after, this is before Orgasm, so I think this is actually lower level than the one we just did. Maybe. So yeah, 25. Okay. 25. You're a dick. I thought you were actually on the elevator. Oh, what? How? Mick fucking excuse me! Come on, Hatchet, you silly Billy, I can't even press the fucking lever. I, I I legitimately just fell through the floor. You can't just fall through the floor, Hatchet. Can you tell me how? Yeah, I remember doing this. This was shitty. I hated this. This one's a lot smaller, though. Your charts are going to take up, like, the entire fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, you'd think. I flipped that switch, like, eight times. Look, look, this area is so small. Really small. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a nap. You really could, dude. It's not animal cruelty if they're trying to kill you. They're coming out for us! He's got a knife! That's just so good. I don't understand why these things have waves in the ground and the whole thing You know what I mean? Why not just have 20 rounds? We're halfway through! Woo! Yeah! Back to Skag. Oh, there's still spider ants over here. Ah, okay. I'm trying to somehow still get with my kills, but it's it's a, it's a rough one out here for a okay, That's what we should be doing. We should be doing fucking Saints Row. Why? Because you said pimp? I did, I said the word pimp. I don't think I'm pimp, but I think I'm pimp, I think I'm payday too. No, the queen spider is dead that time. Dead. Let's keep going. 
I love how they programmed like four sayings for accent. Nothing like a turret kill is one of his favorites though. I think that's just the one that's like loudest, if I'm being honest. Well, the one that he says when he throws out his turret where he goes, Want to meet my girlfriend? That one just depresses me higher. Here's the missus. Yeah, he has some sort of like creepy like fixation with his turrets and it scares me. Well, we do know that he actually does have a girlfriend on his home planet. Well, we do know that. So is he cheating on his turrets with his girlfriend? Or is he cheating on his girlfriend with his turret? I don't think that that's how that works. Well, Andrew, I think it is. Have you heard of turret alley? We're not getting into this. <laughs> this I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. Oh, hatchet. What do you mean? This is, that's quality, uh, quality streaming right there. That's what that is. The people want a discussion on if turrets are a gender. People want this hatchet. Who's ready for some violence? I am. Pick me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, why, fuck. Why is everything fuck dead before I can shoot it? Can you, can you explain? Are these your turrets? Get these things out of here. They are out of here for the next 15 seconds. Oh, large bar kid, you silly billy. Don't get in there. Don't, 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 don't try to play yourself. Okay? I don't even know how they get injured without dying. The Varkids? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm using a fucking flame shotgun. So it already does, like, double damage, and it's like 3,000 damage. You can just spawn a badass Varkid like that? That's not how this works. Fuck you, guy. I don't think they did spawn a badass Varkid. I think they spawned a dead badass Varkid. I'm not gonna lie. Can you settle down, Mr. Varkid? Alright, now I'll take a nap for the next 20 seconds. Halfway there. 3 out of 5 isn't halfway there, sir. Sir. That's 3 fists away now. Get it. It's actually only 4 rounds, because you don't do the fifth. You do the fifth round. I don't think you did. Super badass barking. You're gonna, I'm gonna kill one, you're gonna immediately spawn another? That's not how this works. I'm gonna show you Iridium now. True, you gave us one per, per guy. Thanks, dude. Okay, Spiraling, I'm gonna need to get a little bit bigger. I'm having a hard time seeing you, okay? Literally, I actually am having a hard time seeing you. You can't just jump at people, Spiraling, you shitlord. Uh, where are you? Oh, there they are. I just think I got a point blank kill it. Spider Man, what are you doing? Get bigger. You're almost done. Oh no. An ultimate badass market. Then he's. Well, he's dead. Oh. What am I doing? Did he just start T posing on us? I think that Varkid just started T posing on us. I actually didn't see it. Oh my god. They've, they've become advanced, Hatchet. They're to the level where they've learned how to T-pose. I really like when it gives us just, like, really hard enemies. Yeah. Really so the round is short. Yeah, 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 I know. If, it, if the round would just be, like, five ultimate badass for kids, I would be so angry. I was wondering where this purple went. It's a sniper. That does 900 damage. <laughs> I have one that does 5,000. Yeah, I know. My sniper does, like, 4,000 right now. And it has a 75% chance to slag. 76% chance to slag. Aggressive. So, I mean, as much as I want that 900 damage sniper, I don't. Hey, this one's less waves. This one's less waves. That's what I'm talking about. We're going the right way. Bully ones are spawning. Bully ones, huh? Huh? Are they spawning? Technically, we're in international waters. What? It's so you can hunt endangered species. Yeah, but how are we on in? How are we on international waters? Is the question I'm asking. Like, 
How? Could not actually tell you. Okay. Why is it always spawn like the little shits at the end? I don't know. They're super annoying though because it's so hard to see. You know I would kill these guys with critical hits, but it's like... They just kind of die anyway. Yeah, apparently turret can't crit hit. And that's, that's the truth. No, turret can crit hit. Turret crit hits very often. Oh, you're actually like out of bounds. Actually, down Apparently that can't hit. I was like, am I actually gonna Maybe, because he just breathed fire on me as he was dying. So it put yeah, it out. This is this this arena is super dark for the amount of like completely black and white. I think that's just, yeah, that's definitely just you. Did you see this? Did you see how dark my screen is? Yeah, that's that's your TV, my dude. Your Bro, TV I can't has been see for ages. Look out, you can't wait for Elder Scrolls Six to come out and flop hard as fuck. Wait, why do you think Elder Scrolls Six is gonna flop? Because of Fallout seventy six? Because Fallout seventy six, despite all of its shit, is actually doing pretty well. Not gonna lie, I think it is too, and I hope it does. Because Bethesda needs to get over. It. Bethesda needs to get over itself. I'm not gonna lie. It really annoys me. I just want it to not be like Skyrim, is all I want. Like, I, I don't know why everyone loves Skyrim, I really liked Oblivion more. Bethesda uh, releases these games. It will use the with... same engine as Fallout 76. Oh, Feels bad. God. Feels bad. Bethesda releases these games and these engines. Basically, everything they release is like so incomplete and glitchy and like. 90% of the time, with, like, Skyrim and all that shit, they're like, oh, but the glitches are what makes it fun. They, it gives it an interactiveness. With the, it makes it unique. I'm like, if you can fucking put a plate against a wall and just teleport through an entire, like, entire world as big as Skyrim is, let me tell you, that's not fun and unique. That's not, that's not an intended game design. That's something that they put in and we're just like, Pocket bot. It's all good. To be fair though, Oblivion had the same sort of glitch where you could climb on feathers, because when you drop stuff out of your inventory in Oblivion, it would still be weighted, so it'd stay exactly where you dropped it, so you could make a staircase out of feathers and climb into the final boss chamber and then end the game. That's what I'm saying. Like, everybody's like, oh, they're so good. They don't... I Like, I, I refuse to believe that they actually playtest anything that they do. Well, I, I'm I refuse. Sure they play test. I think it's like any game. You can't really, really play test it until it gets out of the general public. If you play games where more than the play testers do rushers. I know, but Bethesda has this problem where the community just like it makes it better, and then everybody else is like, no. Like if they play any other game, they're like, Ugh. if Bethesda's glitch was in here, it'd be better. Or like any glitch that is any other in any other game, they're like, "Why is it so glitchy? This game is incomplete." But they just get away with it. See, I don't know which people you're talking to. I don't know what you're talking to. Like for the glitches, they just really like games. I'm not sure they like. I didn't like Skyrim all that much. Like, and yeah, ESO just pisses Paul me off. Fallout 76 is the same engine for Oblivion and will be used in the Elder Scrolls 6. At this point, it's a fucking joke. Yeah, it's very old. And it's, you can tell it's very dated. And ESO just pisses me off because they fucking advertise that it's an online game, but for about 95% of the game, you just see other players. You don't play online, you don't play with them, you just see them. Yeah. I hate stalkers, Michael. Oh, I I know. I hate stalkers and threshers. Yeah, that shit's really dated. That's not a lot. I need to keep spawning while the turrets are still on. See, now I can see now that it's like daytime in here. Can you not jizz on the face? I actually want to get Fallout 76 though.
Alright, we're done. Alright, one more round. One more round! That's right, one more round, yeah. I don't know. Bethesda just annoys me with how much, like, it, it, hmm. how much they get away with. Yeah. Welcome to the final round, nice. I think those are the last of these fucking arenas we have to do. Nice, dude. I hate these arenas. Least favorite part of the Apparently, I'm Apparently not being present. on top of the switch doesn't actually count as like. Apparently. Tell me this is. Oh, I was like, watch this be three rounds, I'd be so happy. The... Oh, we're starting with the badasses, okay. I agree. I can hear. I can hear that this is what it should be. If it's not like this, what would be like this? True, true, true. On the high seas. What does he mean? What What does he mean when he keeps referencing that we're on the high seas? Actually, what does this mean? I don't know. I think what? that he is like a ex sailor or something. Am, am I the only one that doesn't think that we're anywhere close to being on the seas? I'm pretty sure we're like in the middle of a wilderness. Okay. See, you said technically we're on international waters. I, I think we're on dry goddamn land right now. I think we're in the middle of the continent. Like, this looks like a forested uh, encasing for all these animals to be flourishing. Oh, like this, this is fucking stalkers. stalkers. Yeah, stalkers. And bullshit. Alright. I'm stuck in random shit again. I'm just watching my turrets have fun. Ooh, man. I don't think Elder Scrolls will ever fail though. People just love those games. Oh yeah. People love them. They just give them a free pass. Yeah. I fucking love Elder Scrolls games. Can you spawn the actual pressure, like not just the fucking tentacles on the pressure? That accuracy is that This accuracy is continually just to the next level shit. Man. Thank you, Thresher. Goodbye, Thresher. You're halfway through. We're at four. He said 75 percent, though. He said halfway through on my game. What the fuck? Well, the turrets in this round. Let's get this shit done with. Do you want to attempt to fight the level 50 guy? If you want to, I probably should get going. Pretty quickly after this. Uh, if, if you want, we can end right after this. That's called fanboyism. It's bad. Look at what their fanboyism brought us: Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Yeah, it is fanboyism. You gotta vote with your wallet. But a lot of, like the general public, I don't think cares enough to do that. You know? It's uh, it's, it's another theme. Fortnite syndrome there for you. <laughs> a recurring theme that's been happening this stream is that I don't think that people. We'll do that shit. I don't know why. They just don't care. Oh. Okay. Well, how are you? You're bad. Alright. Uh, good. Why did it release a shit ton of gags? Like tough gags, yeah. I don't know. Wait, I thought oh, Fallout that's Fallout chubby. I thought Fallout 4 was actually good, though. I thought it was just the DLCs that were, like, not really at all. Well, okay, never mind. There was that one. There was that stuff in Fallout 4 that really liked the uh, like scavenging thing, like where you made your like fort, you had to protect all your forts or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? No. 
Me? Yeah, you. I. My first Fallout is the one that we're playing on stream right now. Okay. Okay. Miss Moxie's Creamer. Is that, is that when I read Creamer? Not gonna lie. I think it is. Okay. It's not even very good, but alright. Hey, I got some things. I got Pokey Doki Creamer. What the fuck? Hey, see if you can take those. Do you have those customization things on you? I don't. Well, there you go, now you do. There's the Pokey Doki Creamer. I couldn't play Fallout 4 more than 10 minutes. You can walk 100 meters straight line without bumping into game breaking glitches and the graphics are total. Oh, without bumping into game breaking glitches and the graphics are total garbage. There's also a way in Fallout 4, I remember seeing a video, wow. that if you I know where know. you're going, you can get a fat man. Er. A fa is it a fat boy? Yeah, it's a fat man. Yeah, a fat man and a, uh, like, and a power armor suit right off the bat. Both fully I that, operational. I think that's supposed to be like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the only, I think this is the only main story, or main game quest we have left is the Terramorphous one. What's the fastest way out of here? Maybe back away we can. Actually, you know, if we just save and quit, it should take us straight to the. Okay. Yeah, it'll take us to the fast travel station. Okay. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I think that, is that where we're just gonna end it then, right there? Yes. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. <sighs> Trying to see what we have left. Almost done with Borderlands. Almost done. Which is good because Killing Serial says he's done with this game. I'm also done with this game. What we okay. have left? We have complete level one of all non level specific challenges within with a single character. That one is Poopy Face, Savannah Mouse. Discover all now named locations in Three Horns, Timber Express, and Frostburn Canyon. Discover all named locations. Um, face up 100 enemies. Remain in Zero's Deception mode for 10 seconds straight. Complete all side missions, complete all campaign of Carnage side missions, collect 10 pictures of Moxie, demonstrate your skill or lack thereof at rolling the magical treasure orb of the sides, and vanquish the ancient dragons of destruction. Not a lot. Not a lot. Alright. That is where we're going to call it. So... As always, thanks everybody for watching. Good luck. Have fun and don't, don't get lost. lost. Alright. Well, wow, they're playing PUBG. Yikes. That's, that's a yikes. That is, is going to be a yikes from me, dog.